Anyways, yeah, I'll get somebody else for that. Okay, let me just get the stuff right up here. And so yeah, I'm just gonna eat. hang out here. I already sprayed in there the other day with like a, a strong like um, flea killer. Okay. So you should be okay with that. Just watch where you step. Like I said, there's cat poop everywhere. Okay. It's, just, it's all over the place. But Not a problem. Okay, so, all right, well, this is, this is a little storage area, this mask is not helping, all right, anyway, so the person had kittens, cats, This is how you That's the easy way to feed your dogs. Come on and eat. Hmm. Okay. Oop. There's a Remote, the button's being pressed or something. Wow, that's weird. Okay. It is a decently big mess. Say hi. Ed? Mm -hmm. Oh, you made it through? Word. Say hi. Tiffy has the ammonia of... Ammonia? Cats are still coming in and around here, though. Book stamps. Alright, I'm going to stop recording and run through and take another look so I can really figure out the square footage, not square footage, the yardage, and uh, get ready to do the estimate. Oh, it's really hot in here. Alright, this is a stinky one. Alright, be back. Okay, let me see if there's any. So back here then is just that barbecue because anything else back here? Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Oh, there's one thing over here. Okay. Small. Okay, well, we wrapped up the um, hoarder house estimate a little while ago. We're assuming that we're going to be about trash, I think about 50 yards, and then pulling up the carpets. So it's probably going to be about 60. I think it's 60 yards, just shy, 55, 60 yards, I think that house is going to be. Um, so we're going home to take care of that, and we were supposed to have an S, no, I'm sorry, we had a refrigerator pickup to go to right now. Um, we hit, 
sent the on my way text a little while ago, let them know that we were coming. 20 minutes later, Ashley follows up with a call just to, could we like to follow up with a call also after the text. She received the text, didn't answer, and then when we called, she called us back to say oh, she canceled, she had it done already. But the thing is, I never understand if she had it done, then why didn't she cancel? Or when we said we were on the way via text, you know, why didn't she cancel? And she would have let us get all the way, I mean, we were halfway there. I don't know. When we were at the Porter House doing the estimate just a little while ago, um, I guess the previous owner had pets, dogs, cats, and you can tell by everything all over the place. And uh, they had, check this out. An entire case, well, case, whatever, you know beef and then we got another one over here tomorrow um, we were talking about going over to the uh, animal shelter dropping some stuff off uh, we get things for animals all the time little pet carriers and now we're gonna drop these off as well huh, 24 cans of food I mean that saves them a little bit I mean with the amount of dogs that they have this is just a morning feeding for all the animals, but it's something that helps out. Anyway, oh, we got new neighbors across the street. All right, I gotta go inside. We gotta get this estimate out for the hoarder clean out, and then we're going. Uh, we just had a cancellation on us. That, well, they really didn't even cancel. They were no show, as far as I'm concerned. Um, now we have um, furniture pickup to go and uh, an estimate. I don't know. They sent some pictures, they said it wasn't a lot, but then they sent the photos and it was clearly more than not a lot. So we have to go out there in person. Uh, maybe we'll shoot some footage when we go. I'm gonna go inside, get this other estimate out and change my shirt, wash my face mask. It's hot, Florida heat kills. All right, James, a and J's removal. See you soon. <laughs> All right, we are in uh, Tradition, Florida, St. Lucie County. Um, right now, we're at an assisted living facility. We're going to be picking up uh, some furniture items. Uh, I think it's an armoire, dresser, recliner, couch. Oh, no, I'm sorry, recliner, chair, and maybe a small lamp. Uh, I believe the, uh, the cl our clients, people that call this, are moving a family relative out of here and in with other family relatives so I guess that's much nicer to have them at home with family than you know the assisted living places are nice but it's not like living with family anyway so uh, they're moving out tomorrow so we're gonna help them grab three items out of here today and that's it after this we have one more estimate um, they say it's not a lot of stuff we saw some pictures Ashley thinks it's a little bit of a maybe a hoarder situation but I don't know, because they, they sent a picture or they said something about like uh, this couch, but in the picture there wasn't a couch, there was just stuff, pile of stuff. Now, there could have been a couch under the pile, we couldn't even tell, but um, that's difficult. So we have to go in person, because you can't always do an estimate by photo. Sometimes they, they, uh, they backfire on you. Like last night, I quoted for a job today and I quoted it a little high. Luckily, we fixed it for the client. She was very happy. And then she gave us an excellent tip. Not only did she give us both separately an excellent tip cash, but she threw a nice percentage on, on with the debit payment too. So, nice. Um, we really appreciate that. It was really nice. Now, trust me, I worked my bunions off uh, trying to get the centerpiece of their hutch and entertainment system. It was like seven and a half feet tall it did not fit in the height of the doorway of the elevator so I had to scoop it in uh, bring the front top in and then pull it so you drag the bottom into place standing it up in a sense if that makes sense you know 20 25 years from now I think I want a little scooty electric cart I want to stay in a place like this why not
Um, well, let me show you around the assisted living facility. It's like a, a freaking old neighborhood. Back that way, there's some other buildings and stuff. I don't know what you can see. Anyway. Uh, Alright. Unique. Um, because everything with the COVID, uh, because of the nursing facility, we had to fill out some paperwork. Um, they basically pre screen us. They're going to take my temperature. They already did it for Ashley. So I have to go inside, take my temperature, sign in. So that, that's kind of neat that they pre screen everybody and kind of make sure nobody's sick before they come in. Thank you, Mark. So he's. Okay. Um, good thing I blocked that. So he was just wiggling his butt. Oh, Lord. Okay, so where you know one thing to remember: when these masks are good for safety precautions, health precautions. But on the same token, you sweat and your pores. I passed my test. I he ruined it. So you you ruined it. You I was gonna track. So I I threw the guy off really bad. I love doing this every once in a while. So uh, so. He, he takes my temperature and he goes, 98.6. I said, so I'm hot? And he was like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he might have thought I was flirting with him. It was great. He had this face like, uh, I'm not flirting back. <laughs> Should I? Shouldn't I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's funny. That's great. Okay, so she was saying up here something about where at the end because it's easier. You don't know what she. A meant. union, probably huh? under this overhang. Yeah, but yeah this. No. We'll do what we did last time. Park way. Okay, let me turn this around. Huh. What we did last time, which was a couple of years ago, we parked way, way the over grass? there. Yeah. It's better for us to park. Because that's, that's the door there. I think it might be better for us, even though it's a bit of a track, but we don't want to be in the way of the okay. residence. I wonder what those houses are there for. It's like the super extra special people. All right, so she probably wants us to come in. So let me yeah. do that, and I'll park right. Because I have to block some street somewhere. So I guess it's better that I block this bigger one. Alternate side of the street parking, and we got to do. Um, Let's turn around. So maybe we can see what James is doing back there. Put it in this spot. Making a spot. Take it back now, y'all. Okay, now he's pulling the thread. Forward! Much. Yeah. Now let's get some work done. Okay, she's waiting outside, so let's put mask. Yeah, like I was saying, definitely more of a hoarder situation. So um, we're here now. There's actually um, another junk removal company outside. I think it's Junkit. It. Uh, it's the first time we got to meet. Nice guy. Well, anyway. Let me show you around the living room. Hi. Hello. Okay, I'll follow you in the hallway. Watch the steps. She said a bunch of bikes. Oh. Oh. You can only step so far without twisting your ankle. Okay, it's a big room, so I got an idea. Okay. If 
feel like I'm gonna fall over. It is so, oh my. Okay, let me show you this. Don't, you don't have to. Yeah, it's like super hot in here. Between Florida Hell Heat and... Ooh. Ooh, don't touch anything. Okay, I feel like um, what's that? What's that movie when you know the guys like you know there's old traps and stuff? Harrison Ford, really old movie. Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's why I feel like Indiana Jones. I think I gotta step on. If you step on the wrong thing, you can fall. All right, out. Ah, uh, well, we'll talk about this a little more in a bit, because there's some issues arriving with this job, and uh, I know we're going to have to pass on it. Anyway, okay.